This is about a poor elephant who was suffering from a traumatic abscess on the belly area. This elephant is a frequent visitor to this camp where the Navy officers reside. The officers were used to giving food to this elephant. The elephant has been quite friendly with them. One day when the elephant visits the camp, the officers noticed that the elephant is hanging out more time in the premises and reluctant to leave in the evening after eating the food as usual. They also noticed that the elephant is staggering with difficulty. Upon closer observation, they saw that there was an infected wound in the belly turned into an abscess. They allowed the elephant to stay in the camp until the morning and informed the wildlife officers. As soon as they got the news, the wildlife officers reported to the location. Their first task was to sedate the elephant. The elephant was safely landed and the officers were hurried into action. The injured belly is first cleaned with saline solution. Then, the cotton swabs were soaked with disinfecting agent to thoroughly cleanse the wound. The necrotic tissues in the wound were also debrided. Meanwhile, the officers were administering antibiotics to inhibit the growth of microbes on the wound and combat against further infections. The Navy officers were also willingly participating to the antibiotic injection process to help their giant friend. While the injections are going on, an officer is continuing his task of thoroughly cleaning the wound. A cotton swab soaked in disinfectant is used to wipe off the wound. The pus accumulated in the abscess were drained out. The officers scrape off the infested part of the flesh and clean it thoroughly using more cotton. After a thorough cleaning and removing the necrotic tissues and pus from the wound, they carefully dressed the wound with the povidone iodine solution. This will clean the abscess and kill bacteria while oxidizing cell constituents and iodinating them, inactivating proteins. The vet carefully syringe in more povidone iodine into the abscess. This will help the medicine get to everywhere in the wound and thereby bring an improvement faster. After that, the wounded area was externally smeared with antiseptic fly repellent spray. All the debris were collected after dressing the wound. Painkillers were also administered to ease his discomfort and anti-inflammatory medicines were also injected to reduce the inflammation caused by the wound. Thereby got every possible action to heal the wound. The veterinary surgeon believes that this wound may have been caused by hitting a sharp-edged object in the forest.
Now it is time to revive the elephant. It is not advisable to keep a giant elephant recumbent for a long time. So the veterinary surgeon administered the revival drug to the ear vein of the elephant. An officer keeps flapping the ear throughout to help the circulation of the drug quicken. The elephant did not move. They keep flapping again and giving a pat to awake the elephant. The elephant gradually starts to raise its trunk and move its legs, showing signs of regaining its consciousness. Finally, the elephant was able to stand up when the sedation wore off. The Navy officers have prepared food for him. The elephant has kept trust on the humans. The elephant is to be treated until the abscess is completely healed. We'll update you with the follow-up treatment to this elephant in our upcoming videos. It is amusing to see how this giant animal was asking for help from humans. And he was lucky to find these great humans. Otherwise, he would have died silently in the forest if the wound had any more infection without proper treatment. Gracias.